are looking for houses. We're waiting for a realtor to come so we can peek on this one. Uh, weird news. We were scheduled for a showing on a different house, on a house that we were both really excited about. It checked off a lot of our yes boxes. Um, they canceled this morning. <sighs> they got an offer. And then after they canceled, they emailed again and asked if our offer would be cash, like trying to see if we would be competitive. Who can compete in this market with only cash offers? Are you kidding me? On the amount of money these houses cost, I just, who, who? Millionaires coming down from New York and California. What? Anyway, we are excited to see this one. It, it doesn't have as many rooms as we've been looking for, but it does have a lot of square feet inside square feet it has a lot of square footage it's a large house so I'm sure there are places where we can like create a room maybe I don't know we're gonna hop inside and see fingers crossed okay my goodness I've had a teeny tiny tour of this place so far so not much of a foyer but there's so much to this house to explore right when you walk in I don't know what the I mean literally this could be everything but there's a dining room table here they have it set up as but then there's also like an eat-in kitchen slash dining room over there. We'll explore the kitchen. I actually haven't been in there yet because I've been so enthralled with everything else this house has to offer. These ceilings are beautiful. The recessed lighting. I love how, again, I try not to look at how it's decorated, but I can't help myself. Look at this bookshelf back here. Let me give you a fish eye. Oh, I was hoping when I was looking at the pictures, I thought, man, I hope that's a built-in, but it looks like it's just anchored to the wall. Let me just give you a shot of this beauty. Maybe it can be in the contract. Like, we'll buy the house, but keep this in it. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is like formal living room kind of thing. I love how the walls aren't like perfectly square or rectangular there's character and charm to this house over here on the other side we have a hallway full of bedrooms yes bedrooms so this is bedroom number one. Oh my goodness it's just so sweet isn't it i feel like i'm at my grandma's house and everything is like perfectly set up for us and just so you know here's bedroom number two so the bedrooms aren't like anything to write home about or exciting. They All the windows seem to have these beautiful shutters on them that I think do. I don't know what these are called, but I know they, um, oh wait, they don't block out all the light. I don't know. Maybe there's a way to them, but they're beautiful. Here's the closet. Again, nothing too spectacular, but it's nice. It's quality. It's solid. Oh, she sews. <gasps> I need to really get my sewing kit under control. Look at that. Oh gosh, I want to be, this is a woman across the room. Okay, walking out of this bedroom on to, what's in here? <gasps> I love this. Okay, one thing I love more than a double entry bathroom is a Jack and Jill bathroom. This house does not have a Jack and Jill bathroom. My goodness. I don't think this is the main bedroom, but this is a very large bedroom compared to the two others that we just saw. Whoever gets this bedroom is going to feel like a queen. Oh, look at this book. The Florida's a oh, perfect guest bedroom. Okay. So, oh, stop it. It's not connected bathroom. This is like a whole separate little suite in here. Okay. The uh, countertops are pretty low, but they're beautiful, right? They look updated, not like completely updated, but not, you know, 70s style. This is a nice a size shower in here. Not too big, not too small. I was not expecting this bathroom. I'm so surprised right now. Okay, coming out here. Wow, wow. I'm okay. We didn't have high hopes for this house, which I think is why I'm extra excited about it. So here is another bathroom. It's in the hallway. It's easily accessible. Beautiful. I love how there's an extra door to the toilet. Keeps it a little bit private if you have multiple guests over. Okay, I have to know what kind of soap are they using? Energy. I feel it. I feel the energy. <laughs> uh, okay, beautiful, beautiful. I actually love the colors. I love the floor. I love the tile. I mean, it looks very well kept, looks very nice. Okay, let's move right back out here. Oh, look, there's a little nightlight. Oh, the little details I love. So this is the 
entry or hallway closet, like a little coat closet in here. It's got a couple shelves up top. Oh, no, wait. It has more than shelves up top. It has shelving on the side. Beautiful, love that, great for storage. Ugh, these doors are a little wonky. Okay, so let me come back out here through the formal living room. I have not checked out anything on that side of the house yet. But over here is the main bedroom. And guess what is in the main bedroom, you guys? There's so many gems. Okay, first of all, I'll give you the shot of the main bedroom. Who cares? You've got a bed, you've got a dresser, wonderful little seating area. That's fantastic. Here's the kicker. The laundry room is, <laughs> is attached to the bedroom. This is crazy sauce. I've never seen anything like this. But also... Very convenient, right? I'm doing laundry every day. They have these nice built-in cabinets right here. Not only that, uh, but do you get hungry while you do laundry? Because I do, perfect spot for an extra refrigerator. I thought, oh, maybe they it's, you know, access to the garage. Nope, it's just a nice little storage closet in there. I don't even own an iron. This is insanity. Look at that, you can even do your own laundry. It's perfect. Today is a good day for a good day. You're right about that. Did I show you these cabinets up here? Just beautiful. And then over here, equally as beautiful. And a sink. I've never had a sink in my laundry room. Wow, this is wonderful. Okay, another gem. Let's explore back here. So this is a beautiful like little sitting area. We'll go there in a second. But, huh? Okay, I haven't been in here yet. Oh, wow. This house is surprising me to no end. So this is the main bathroom. It's a lot larger than I thought it would be looking at the pictures. Oh, look at that beautiful armoire. Looks like Beauty and the Beast style, you know? Ooh, look at these built-in cabinets. Ooh, so fancy. Love the lighting. Okay, wow, this is like next level fancy, you know what I mean? Love the shower. That's not a shower. Oh my gosh, what is it? A toilet, <laughs> I'm so surprised. A toilet, there's no door, so weird. There's a little sitting area so you can hang out, so you can get dressed. I don't really know what's happening right here, but this is the shower. There is a shower door, a nice little, um, whatever that's called. <gasps> there's two of them, a one and a two. A one and a two, two shower heads. This is crazy to the max. Carissa to the max. I am, or if you can't tell, oh my gosh, you guys, is this our house? Uh, wait till we see the kitchen though, because uh, the kitchen is like, ugh. okay, let's <laughs> move over here. I think that's why I haven't been in it yet. I don't want to disappoint myself. You guys, as if the bathroom wasn't exciting enough, let's head on to this boutique, to this department store, AKA the closet. They have a nice little sitting area right here. They have some nice built-ins. Oh my word, fashion show? Hold on, is it time for a fashion show? Do we need to try some stuff on and have a fashion show? Okay, the fashion show is over, but over here, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> Who lives here? Diane von Furstenberg. This is, I'm, I'm in love. I saw this picture on my computer when we were looking at pictures of this house and I said, wow, showstopper, right? Would it look this good if I had it? Probably not, but we can dream. Look how stinking beautiful this place is. She's got her perfume right here. And then the men's section over here. I like how it's separated. Are those bowling shoes? Is he a bowler? Oh my word. Okay, I just can't get enough of this place. So let's explore some more. Let's head on back here. So we're going through the main bedroom, but then they have like this Miami style room. Oh, another downside to this house is there's no pool. They do have a backyard, which is right outside here. And I think this is normally like the outside of the house. They just redid it to be a, a Miami room. I don't really know what it's called, but it looks like a little office area which attributes to the expansion of the square feet of this house. And then, oh my gosh, the dollhouse. <gasps> the dollhouse, you guys. I want to live here. 
I really want to, I just want to live here just with everything just the way it is. Um, I love this like Golden Girls style outdoor seating, but you're indoor kind of thing. Love the fans. Keeps you cool. Wow. Look at this dollhouse though. This is like my dreams coming true. Growing up, one of my best friends had a dollhouse like that. Wait, we're not outside. Look, it's completely connected to the house. There's no door right here. There is a door right here, which is to, I don't even know what to call this room, the library. Let's just call it the library because that's the level that we're at right now with this. I mean, Beauty and the Beast, this is her dream house. She's got her armoire and she's got her library, stairs to it and everything. Okay, so let's go through here. Kind of weird with all these doors. Was this originally the outside of the house? I'm so confused, but also happy that they added on because something that's something I would never do. Okay, so this is another room. <laughs> a lot of different rooms to entertain in in this house. Oh, there's a sink, a wet bar. Oh, so 90s, I like it. Wait, there's another room back there. Maybe this can be converted to another bedroom. How many bedrooms have we seen? See, I'm so confused. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can get a good view of this, I don't know, third sitting room that we've, oh, the living room. Where's the living room? Do they own a TV? <laughs> they don't own a TV. They just read books all day. Oh, the woman I want to be, you know what I mean? A door to the outside, lovely. And then they have, does this room have a closet? This must be the office area. We could easily put a wardrobe in here and make this a bedroom. This is a nice little spot. Man, I like this spot. It, it's very large very large. I'm blown away by this house. It is far and away exceeded my expectations. Okay. Again, every door seems to have this kind of, um, threshold. I don't know what it's called. All right. Coming in back here. I don't, this would be, I have no idea. The living room. How would we configure this? Okay. New territory. I have not been in here yet. Ooh, a nice little fireplace. Maybe this would be the living. I don't know. I'm so confused. There's so many sitting areas, so many tables <laughs> to eat at. How often are these people eating? A beautiful fireplace. Do we need one in Florida? No, no, not really. Um, I would rather have like a buffet counter right here than all of this curio cabinet space because what do I have that's fancy enough to display? Uh, nothing. Um, okay, a little area in my kitchen where I can do bills and stuff. Oh, I love this window. Oh, a nice little kitchen window to the outside. All right, I'll give you a shot of the dining room, the second dining room that we just saw. Cool, cool, cool. And then this is the kitchen. So it does feel, I mean, it doesn't feel enclosed at all because it's absolutely massive. Let me back up and give you a shot of the kitchen. It's huge and the ceilings aren't as low as I thought they were going to be. I do have a feeling they lifted them, especially in the kitchen with those recessed lights. Um, but this does not make it feel caved in at all, which I thought it would. But of course we could always take that away and that would definitely open up the space. Uh, but yeah, here's the kitchen. They like their black and white. I love that style door. It's like a cottage style. I think, I don't know, I, don't, I have no idea. But a double oven. Oh, wow. Well, look at this fridge too. It's like retro. All right, what's out here? Oh, this must be the garage. Oh, just hold on. Just a minute, just a minute. This little nook and cranny over here, what are we gonna do with this? Look at the bird cage, look at this nice entry table. Okay, is this a pantry? Oh no, boring. Wait, not so boring, she's got an apron and grocery bags. Okay, this must be the garage. I heard something. Two car garage, beautiful, great, let's go inside. Sweet, straight from the garage, I can bring all of my groceries in right into the kitchen. Uh, too bad I don't park in my garage, but it's like no big deal. Okay, kitchen, lovely. Have we seen enough? No, where's the pantry? Oh, this is the pantry. Ooh. <gasps> ah, the pantry is so nice. Uh, it's not a walk-in pantry, but it is spacious. It will allow room for, I feel like, everything that we need. Okay, I think we've seen the whole house now. Thoughts? reviews another closet so i guess this is really the entry closet oh yes okay 
Look, they left out some mints for us. Oh my God. Oh, well, probably they're not for us, but you know, I'm probably going to eat one anyway. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't come after me. All right. Time to discuss. Alex just asked if I saw the jets in the shower. Right here. Where? Wait, that? Yeah. Squirt me straight in the face. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't know what, <laughs> what is this here for? The feet or the buttocks? The buttocks and the here. feet? No, 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 Look, no, no, this no, no, is... Oh, okay. oh my gosh. Gary just said, turn it on. <laughs> Alex and I just went out to eat. It's kind of like a date night. We went to see the house. Uh, we got a babysitter, so the kids didn't have to come with us, basically. Right. Um, anyway, so we went out to eat. We're treating it like a date right next to the place we went out to eat, which I didn't share with you, but I did share on my Instagram. So like, follow me there if you want to see what we ate. It probably won't still be alive. Look how pretty that is. But we found this little shop. It's like a rustic, what is it called? Rustic something? It's an antiques. antiques. So let's head on in and see what they have. Maybe, maybe we'll take a picture right here because that's so cool. <laughs> All right, we got a shot with the plant wall. We had to be strategic about it because the sunlight is coming in from that way. They should put a light on this wall to make it more uh, Instagram worthy. Anyway, look at this floor. It's so fun. Oh, a little bumblebee. I don't know. I don't get out much, guys. I don't get to explore. All right, you ready to go antiquing? Yes. I can't wait. Collectible antiques All right, and so we'll more. <gasps> Beautiful bird cage. Oh my gosh. I think I want everything in this store. Hold on, fisheye style. There we are. Look at these chairs. Look at these little little rocking chairs. Oh, this place is so cute. A Tiffany lamp. Ooh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh, look at this little Venice canal painting. Can you see it? What's behind it? You know what I've always wanted? Like a nice hand painted framed photo of our house. So maybe when we find our beautiful home, we will get that done. Something like that, that's so cute, right? Ooh, they're hopping on the wallpaper trend. That is a big trend lately. Okay, they sell a lot of paints, which uh, it's not for me, okay, have we met? I don't even think I know how to paint. All right, let's check out this little corner over here. Oh my word, so stinking cute, pretty. Look at that, look at that old style phone. Yes. What is the price? Yes, yeah, that price. Um, I don't know, I don't know. There's no price tag. All right, they've got lamps. They have nice um, frames. Cute little like mod century style. I don't know what I'm saying. I know nothing about fashion. It's not even fashion. I know nothing about home decor. This piece is beautiful. It's missing a little hatch, but these are pretty easy to find, even on Amazon. I mean, obviously they won't be authentic or antique, but you can find something similar. Look at these brass uh, pieces right up there. Oh, look at that camera. Wow, that is awesome. Look at this lamp up here. Look at this, look at that, look at that. <laughs> so cool. This curio cabinet is really nice. A Coca-Cola pharmacy, is that a thing? Oh, look, did anyone else have in their house growing up like a uh, naked figurine of like adults? I feel like every home I ever went into always had one of those. This piece is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at that, it's so fun. Okay, yes, that price, even though it's sold, wah, I'm crying, $120 for that. Did it come with the pieces inside? I'm freaking out, $120 for that is not bad. That is such a fun piece. Wow, I'm definitely going to have to remember this place when we're decorating our home, right? I see a lot of chickens around, roosters, chickens. <gasps> My kitchen scale that I've been waiting for. Oh, I mean, amazing, incredible. Okay, give us that price. <laughs> okay, look at farmhouse style chic over here. Got a nice little corner, love that desk. Okay, let's peek on the price. Guess that price, 289, nice. That is like a proper antique right there. Okay, very cool pieces over here. Even more cool pieces. Ooh, maybe I'll find my sewing basket. Do you think they have a sewing basket here? Look at that light. Oh my gosh, gorgeous much. Wow, imagine hunting for all of these pieces for this store. How did I never know this store existed? Wow, salt and pepper shakers right there. Nice, very cool. 
Ooh, beach house. Those look new though. Okay. Very cool pots. Oh, look at this little koala bin. Koala and kangaroo. Guess that price. It's free. Oh, it's family owned and operated. Those are the best kind of businesses, don't you think? Look, an instrument. These are really popular, aren't they? These little um, church pews. That's a teeny tiny one. Little baby, little baby one. All right, check it, check it over here. Didn't I feel like I didn't show you this. So cute. Man, I love this place. Oh, look at, this is my vibe over here. All these clocks, all the like antique looking uh, pictures. Man, I'm down, I'm down for it. Check this, oh wow. Look, I thought maybe it might be a sewing basket. Oh, how much is it? $40, look how vintage and cool this is, 70s style, a little mirror inside. Oh, I am in love. Look at that bust behind it too. Man, this place has so many treasures. Oh look, the Arc de Triomphe. Okay, also I saw this bar back here. Just the coolest. We gotta go though, we gotta go. Guess where we are now? You guessed it. A big open field, a one acre of land. Ah, oh, it's quite expensive. It is at the peak of our wind. Okay, the peak of our boundary of where, how far we're willing to go out. It is one acre, did I say that? Not much else to say. We're always looking for like, oh, should we build? Uh, a lot to think about. Okay, so I ended on the lot. There's so much to uncover here, guys. So yes, we went to see a lot of land that I added in this video, but in a future video, we also saw some more land. We met with uh, some new builds. We're definitely looking into new builds since there aren't a lot of houses coming up on the market. And we're just exploring our options, okay? And a lot of model home tours to come, which I am like buzzing about right now. I'm so excited about because we actually did that today. I don't know, so much in our future. Short story long, we did not put in an offer on the house that we toured in this video. It was beautiful. It was just, you know, a little wonky, a little weird, which is kind of what I like, right? Anyway, there are so many things that it checked off of our boxes. Yes, 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 but then also, a lot of no's. And you know, you just gotta get a feel of the house and that just wasn't our forever home. So there's that. Anyway, let's move on. I went to Target, I've got a haul to share with you. Okay you guys, I went to Target and I bought a few things. I don't even remember what I went in there for, but then Target told me that I needed a few more, oh you know what I went in there for? Uh, toiletry items, shampoo, conditioner, Oh my goodness, and do I have a lot to say about that. I actually filmed like a little shop with me. So I'll share that footage um, after I share with you everything that I got. Oh, and actually the other day I went there and I filmed a shop with me, and the only thing I got, oh, where I put it in this bag because I thought I need to share this. Does your side part ever hurt? Mine does. Okay, I got these earrings. Uh, the sweetest earrings you've ever seen in your life, right? I do believe we need to put them in. Every time I put earrings in, I just, I feel like, mm, did my ear close up? Okay, I don't have time for this. I'm just gonna put one earring in and it's gonna be good. Look at that beauty. Isn't that a cute earring? Love that. Perfect for springtime. Uh, if you have any guesses about the shampoo that I picked out, you probably have no clue because I didn't share the shampoo footage with you yet, but I ended up going uh, millionaire status. I bought the Biolage because forever ago at I think Marshall's, I got this little leave-in conditioner. It was Biolage. It smelled so good. I got it for like 75 cents on clearance. It was insane. And I used the smallest amount because I wanted that crap to last forever. Sad to report, it did not last forever. So I had to spend an arm and a leg on, this is $30. I actually think it was like $32. <laughs> Don't remind me, it was so expensive. But um, I have washed my hair since then and oh, it smells so good. And my hair is basically my entire body. So whatever I put on my hair is like my scent. I don't wear perfumes, I don't really wear lotions. I, wear, I mean some lotion, but it's mostly unscented, whatever. So whatever fragrance my hair is, is what fragrance I am. So I thought some people spend a lot of money on perfume, so I spent a lot of money on shampoo and conditioner. I bought the small bottle of shampoo, and you know what, I probably used way too much of it first go around. I got the Volume Bloom and the Hydra Source. I figured I need some volume and hydration, so best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. I also got 
It smells just as good at home as it did in the store. Oat Blossom Myers hand soap. Do I need it? Nah, not really, but it smelled really good and eventually I'll need hand soap. I love having hand soap on hand. Probably the best purchase I got were these. Kisses. Yes. Hershey's Kisses, this was definitely an impulse buy. This was not on my like to get from Target list. Do you know what I mean? But they had two new flavors. This one's like birthday cake and this one is strawberry and something. Strawberry ice cream cone. My gosh, if this isn't the most delicious thing I've had all week, I don't know what is. Obviously I ripped into both of them. I can't contain myself. I have no, what's that word? Control. <laughs> They're both delicious but this one is most delicious, so I recommend this one if you're in the market. My kids also needed some shampoo and conditioner, so I got them, what is this, Dove Conditioner. Nope, Dove Shampoo, and then L'Oreal Total Repair Conditioner. This was quite, this was like seven bucks. I don't know, it smells really good, and I thought, you know what, they've got hair, they need to smell good too. All right, and then I spent a oh, million dollars, not on this, but I needed nail polish remover i thought i had some apparently i'm out of it and i need to do my nails so i needed some of that this is what i spent an arm and a leg on this yes to you eye cream i have had yes to you eye gel before i think and i'm out of it i use all kinds of eye creams and gels i'm weary about this one because whenever i use something new on my eye i just never know how it's going to react and i have really sensitive eyes oh my gosh i was in the skincare aisle forever did i get anything else skincare I got some stupid cotton balls. So I got this skincare and I was in that aisle for, I don't know, 75 years. Trying to think, oh, what kind of woman am I? Do I need a $75? I don't even think they sell, sell anything for $75, but some items were like $40, $45, $35. Listen, I don't know what kind of woman I am, but I know I'm not the kind of woman who spends $40 on a product that has this much in it. <laughs> I mean, I probably should and maybe down the road, but for now I just got Tried and true, the Aveeno Clear Complexion All Over the Face Lotion. It doesn't have anything special in it, nothing fancy, it won't prevent wrinkles, but it does the job, I guess. And then I hear everyone and their mom talking about this Persil. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's not dishwasher, it is laundry detergent. Ugh, you would think, who cares about laundry detergent? Just get Costco brand. Apparently this is magical. People have been talking about it. I'm gonna take a whiff and give you my, oh, I could have opened it in the store. I thought it was like locked. It's, you could just open it in the store, take a whiff. It smells like bubbles. I'm probably offending some people who are like in love with this, or maybe I didn't get the right brand because there are two different ones, one with OxyClean and it was like orange. That does look kind of cool, right? Anyway, there are 40 in here. There's no way this is like, safe to be putting right up to my nose. I don't know, people rave about the scent of this. I don't understand it. it smells like laundry detergent. I don't know, I, I don't. I don't know, I don't, I don't understand the allure. I probably won't buy this again, but they were having a sale. Get a $5 gift card if you bought, I don't know, two of whatever detergents that were on sale. So I knew I wanted to try this. I also grabbed Tried and True. It's like Tide. They're the pods, but they're the free and clear. So like no perfumes, no dyes. It's for sensitive skin. This is what I like to use. Anyway, that's everything that I got from Terje. That's a lie. That's not everything I got. That's all the non-perishable items that I got. I also got some food related items. I will share with you the shopping adventure and then I'll share with you the food. So good. So I'm trying to pick out some shampoo. Function of Beauty seems to be going around the YouTubes these days. The, I've been wanting this Biolage for years, ever since I got one on clearance at like TJ Maxx Home Goods. It's been like two years. I loved the smell of it. I think today we're gonna do it. But when I was in high school, first of all, why is Paul Mitchell all gone? Does that mean it's amazing? Uh, but when I was in high school, I always thought this was like the most expensive shampoo and I thought it smelled amazing, but I just sniffed it. Uh, it smells like, I don't know, paint or yeah, spray paint, that's what it smells like. Oh, but look at this uh, dry shampoo. I almost wanna buy it just because of the container has flamingos on it, amazing. But I recently bought this Dove kind. This is someone made a choice. Oh, but they probably went with the unicorn. But um, I really like that. It does have a very heavy scent. So 
So if you're not into that, like don't get it. I also have one of these that I've been through. I think this one, and that one was pretty nice too. Nice scent as well. I'm not big on scents, but I don't know. Ooh, plump for joy. Yeah, bodybuilding. I like how they call it bodybuilding. You know what? I might buy some of that. I need some volume. Why are there so many options? And this is just half of one aisle. There's like four aisles of hair care. Wait, is this hair care over here? This raw sugar brand has shampoo and conditioner? Why did I not know that? I love their body wash but not the mango butter. Where's like the watermelon? I bet you they're out of it because it's so scrumptious. Ooh, curls. I remember when I was trying to get my natural curls to come out using the curly girl method. Yeah, that did not work for me, dog. Okay, so I'm gonna be in this aisle for about 75 more hours. Wait a second. Native has shampoo and conditioner. What is it like every brand has shampoo and conditioner these days? Look what I found, the watermelon flavor it's not a flavor it's a scent in dry shampoo i could smell like watermelon sugar all day long but i won't not for nine dollars okay i think that was the expensive aisle of hair care i'm now in the um i don't know normal people aisle aisle of hair care the non-millionaire aisle of hair care uh remember when suave was like a dollar oh i guess it's still you know inflation two dollars but that's a pretty large container what do they call that a jar of shampoo bottle oh my gosh my brain sometimes doesn't work look at this four dollars what is this fanciness wow suave really kicking things up beyond shea butter okay garnier fructis oh that was my jam in high school curl nourish i never had curls i don't know why i'm so you know why i'm obsessed with curls uh i because i want them i do a uh, cool story in high school, I got a perm and a chunk of my hair fell out. It was really cool to watch it grow back in considering it was right in front of my head. It was like right here or right here. It's when I first started doing like the, like a side part. I was one of the first ones to start that before Laguna Beach and all that good stuff. Um, you could call me a trendsetter, but that really wasn't the case. I was trying to hide my baldness. I had to go to homecoming like that. It was a, it was a whole thing. I didn't cry though. I was like, yeah, whatever. Life goes on, right? I remember one time Tati said that this stuff is what she used, so I used it, and it was, it was, it was okay, it was okay. <laughs> I can't be the only one who struggles. I actually think it was this, this color or scent, whatever. Maybe I'll try this again. Power Restore? Man, this looks like protein powder or something. Rinse it or leave it? Hmm, let's give it a whiff. This one smells okay, this one smells better. Uh, and then I found these over here. Look, the raw sugar for kids uh, shampoo. Oh, it has a pump. This one's missing. Uh, fantastic, but I feel like my kids would fly through that stuff. Matt, look at all of this. Pantene Pro-V. That's what I normally use, Pantene Pro-V, because they sell that at Costco and I got it on sale normally. Oh my, okay, can we talk about dry shampoo for just a moment? Oh, this is like hairspray. A lot of it is dry shampoo though. Do you remember when the only dry shampoo available was, I don't even remember the brand. Oh gosh, there was literally only one and no one used it. No one. I can't find it. I'm gonna keep looking, but I thought I'd mention these. I tried these one time. I think I had this one, the papaya, the leave-in conditioner. It was fantastical. That one, I don't know, grosses me out because avocados gross me out, but they used to have sample sizes. I also remember many, many, many years ago, like 10, 15 years ago, I used to use herbal essences, but they had a purple bottle and I, they must have discontinued it. I haven't seen it ever since. And it smelled incredible from what I remember. But do you guys remember the herbal essences, like commercials? Severely inappropriate, right? Okay, let's get out of here. Who knew I had so much to say about dry shampoo? or shampoo in general. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on body lotion. Shouldn't there just be one? Moisturize your body. Okay, so we all know about Aveeno, Sierra V, however you pronounce it. Have you guys seen this? EOS lip balm in a body lotion. Incredible. Oh my gosh, this one is called Flamingo. I'm about to buy it just because of the brand name. <laughs> I have that. It feels like water going on your skin. Incredible. Ooh, original scent. Yes, that used to be my jam. I used to use uh, baby lotion back before I had a baby. 
and thought I was cool. I wasn't. <laughs> I thought I would show you this aisle, hand soap. Uh, remember last year when this aisle was completely bare? Kind of makes you feel good about life again, a little bit, right? Gives you a little bit of hope. This is my favorite hand soap. I should probably grab some. I don't know if we need some. <laughs> what is this though? It's a new one. I don't know. I, ooh, Citrus Grove. Ooh, listen to that. Cool. I used to love smelling the new releases for the Method hand soap. I don't really care anymore. My life has evolved. Ooh, Myers. This is Myers. What is this? Oat blossom. Sounds delicious. Rosemary. Yes, please. And then plum berry. Don't mind if I do. What happened to like the beauty clearance end cap? I feel like they used to always have one, but now I can't find it anywhere. This is the only end cap I can see. Wow, 7 million boxes of hemorrhoid cream. That's great. Uh, 99 cents if you're looking for it. Oh, hey humans. Hi, how are you? What's this? All day odor protection. It's not even on clearance. Great. Oh, okay. I thought that was a menstrual cup. <laughs> mm, ooh, look what I found. <laughs> yes, look what I found. Uh, got to be glued. This is what Alex is, uses on his waxed mustache because uh, Santa Claus at the mall told him that's what he used and it works amazingly. But recently I heard someone say that it like, you know, the youngins use it on their eyebrows to keep them f looking fluffy. I don't really know. I guess that's a trend, not for me. Look at this yellow nail polish though. Not on clear. What is it doing? Is this even a clearance section? Look, yes it is. Why is that there? I don't know. All right, well, I don't see anything. Ooh, work hard, smell better. I bet you this isn't on sale either. Mother. Slightly annoyed. I don't see a sale sticker on that. That, didn't see one on the Tums, even though we don't need them. I'm just checking everything I'm touching. No, nothing, nothing's on sale for me. Oh, water bottle, great. I think this is the brand strainer that I have. I'm not even sure of the brand. I don't know, it's like a Target exclusive. A lot of people ask me where I got my strainer. It like fits perfectly in my sink, but it was only $3. I found these cute little bowls. I feel like these are perfect size for an ice cream scoop, you know, or a couple of ice cream scoops if you're going for it. $3 for four of them, I feel like is great. I don't know if I like need more of that in my life, but I definitely want it. <laughs> wow, my local Target is really stepping up their bakery game. Yes, this is it. A little bliss in every bite, but look at over here. Look what I found, old fashioned cake donuts. It's my favorite donut and they have chocolate old fashioned sour cream. This is the best donut if you've never had it. Come on down to Target and buy some. They have one left for you, $4.99. I actually don't know if it's $4.99. Uh, I don't know, but I really want to buy it. I would pay $6.99 for that. I don't know how much it is, guys. Oh my gosh. Sour cream old fashioned donut is the best donut ever created. Okay, I gotta go buy eat. Grabbing some snacks uh, and stuff for the kids' lunches. And Target put this right up front. Uh, they really know what they're doing. These sugar, oh my gosh, they have sugar cookie. Oh, they're snackable dough bites, you guys. They're so expensive for what they are. And I wonder if it's back here, because they have the brownie ones. Oh, is this the brownie one? Don't buy this, it's, no. I would recommend definitely the cookie dough bites or the sugar cookie dough, I, even though I haven't had them. I bet they're delicious. But what I would recommend more than that is making my cookie dough and just freezing it. <laughs> Salmonella, I dare you. What the heck are these? Uncrustable, it's like I've never been in the grocery store before. Turkey and Colby Jack roll-ups. Have you guys ever had a roll-up? Gross, maybe I make them wrong. Barbecue chicken bite, taco bites? What? Uncrustable. You're really breaking out of your comfort zone here. Where's the Nutella? Cause that's the only one I eat. Yes. Uh, now that all the Easter candy is gone, I'm gonna have to find something else to eat. I'm still not sick of you. Oh, congratulations. Congrats on that thing you did. Am I even showing you? M&M's really sticking their game up. I love being socially awkward with you. Well, that's me to a T. It's gonna be a long week. Yeah, it is. This bag should be bigger. I've had these fudge brownies before. Meh, I don't know, they just, they taste okay. <gasps> ice cream inspired? I don't even like ice cream, but I do love strawberry and cream. Remember those um, like hard candies, strawberry and cream? Oh, those were the best. <gasps> Birthday cake. Is this a joke? 
How can I say no? I might buy one of each just for fun. I mean, for experimental purposes, you know, someone's got to try them and let everyone know the truth. Okay, here is the food section. Meredith, you gonna show off? It's raining outside. I just gave her a granola bite, which I loved to eat these when I was postpartum. They are kind of expensive for what they are, but it's like an energy ball that you can just buy in the store and it is delicious. It's like a healthy little nugget. They're soft though. They're soft, which is what I love. This one is dark chocolate and sea salt. It has peanut sunflower seeds. What does it have? Oatmeal, coconut in it. I don't know, all the good things, right? It's got some fiber protein to keep our bellies full. Uh, we decided, I guess, to do hamburgers tonight, so the seasonings are already out there. I got some provolone. Uh, main reason for getting some <laughs> snacks at Target was because I needed, you know, just snacks for lunch the kids' lunches. So I grabbed a pineapple ready to cut and eat. I have green apples, red apples back there, honey crisp, which were, oh gosh, getting produce at Target, my local Target anyway, because it doesn't have a full grocery section. These were almost $6, so not the best price, but they are honey crisp, so I hope my kids enjoy them. I got a bundle of bananas, some navel oranges. These were decent price for what they were, considering they were trying to sell one for 89 cents. I think this whole bag was around 4.50. And then I got a bag of cuties. These were a great price, 3.99 for three pounds. I got a Lara bar, just one box of Lara bars. Oh, by the way, I also use cartwheel, so I scan everything before I check out. Uh, but this was one of the only things that was on sale. The Lara bar was a dollar off. I, we love these. I don't know if I talk about them much anymore because I don't do lunch videos, but they are five ingredients, all real ingredients, like better for you granola bar type of thing. They are soft uh, because the base of them is dates, which is like a natural sweetener, nature's candy. I love the mint ones. I keep them in the fridge and I eat it like as a dessert. It tastes like a Thin Mint. It is delicious. Also got Z-Bars. Eleanor and Wentworth get these in their lunchbox because they love them. It's not the greatest, but it is a bit healthier. It has a little bit of fiber and a little bit of protein. I'll give you a little shot of the nutrition facts there. You can read all about it. If it's not blurry, I don't know. Uh, and then this morning, Abelene asked for waffles. I didn't feel like making them, so I got these. And from my experience, the Eggo Thick and Fluffy are the best. The little ones, like the normal size ones, I don't know, they're like hockey pucks. They're disgusting, no thank you. These are good. But I'll, I also don't eat that kind of stuff a lot, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're just as bad. And I cooked it differently, I don't remember. I also got some cereal because Wentworth likes that cereal. Uh, well, he like, you know what he wanted? What's that cereal with like all the marshmallows? Charms, something charms. I said, are you kidding me? No, <laughs> sugar in a box. So this is not the best probably, but it's not the worst, it's like mid range, you know? I also grabbed some pretzel sticks and you guys saw, I actually opened the, um, Cupcake ones because you know inquiring minds needed to know uh, this one is strawberry ice cream cone I feel like I need to eat it with you Maybe I already did because I'll probably pop it in my other bag and I'll share that before I share it doesn't make any sense But that's live. That's YouTube live. Okay. I also grabbed some hard salami. Oh, and you know what? My kids really like our Krabby Patties. Eleanor, I don't know why she calls it a Krabby Patty. So it's basically just a bagel with some cheese. I got some provolone cheese. Ideally, you would like mozzarella cheese, but it, they didn't have it sliced. And then pepperoni. Delicious, nutritious, not really, but you know, keep her full. <laughs> I got some potato buns for the hamburgers we're going to make, and I got some beef patties. And these were a better price than the ones we got at Publix, believe it or not. Actually, that's easy to believe because meat at Publix is so expensive. But Target did have a jalapeno uh, patty. I almost bought that, but I ended up just getting those. And then, have you guys ever had these? I feel like it's been, I don't know, I feel like I had these growing up and they were so buttery and delicious. There's got to be nothing good in this, right? Oh, look at that. Two grams of protein. Does that say three grams? I think that says three grams. <laughs> Who gave me a license? Anyway, look at that ingredient list. It's probably not great, but it tastes great and, uh, you know, everyone deserves a treat every now and then. You know, kisses aren't healthy and you just got to eat what you eat. That is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I know we toured a house. We also, oh, went antiquing. I almost forgot everything that we did because it really hasn't been all in one day. But I was excited about that antique store. And I shared with you just a little Target haul. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. And I will see you next time. Bye.